Next, I will guide everyone on two nodes, set variable and spreadsheet. Why should I discuss these two nodes together? Because when using the spreadsheet node, the set variable node is often used together, and they have many applications. You can use them. Additionally, there's the loop. I'll drag it here so I can explain its application later. Here, I'll start with the spreadsheet node. The spreadsheet node is similar to read file because it optimizes reading Excel files. Here, the first option is local, meaning your Excel file. The second option is cloud, meaning Google Sheets. This feature is currently under development, and when Gen Farmer is officially released, it will support Google Sheets. We will have a separate guide for Google Sheets. The options for the spreadsheet node include read, write, and clear, which are quite clear, right? Clear is used to delete data within a specified range. Write and read are used to write and read data. Now I'll go into read. Write works similarly. First, you still need to choose a file path, which is the Excel file you need to read data from. Here, range is the range to read. You can choose a range or a cell. If you choose a cell, you need to uncheck first row as key. Because first row is key will treat the first row as a key. It formats the data as an array, so if you select first row as key, you must read data as an array. You cannot read data from a single cell. For example, if you read data from cell A1, it won't work. Because cell A1 is a key, and it doesn't have the attribute defined as a key. A 3 also cannot be read. You must read it as an array. Only when reading as an array can it have the attributes. In the first row, I will read from A3 to C5. That's when it can read the data. Here, the key is the profile name and address. You must read it as an array. Then it can read your data. But if you want to read a single cell, you must uncheck the first row as key. You will be able to read data from that cell, such as A3. Here, data from A3, C3. When reading a single cell, you must uncheck it. Next, the sheet name is the name of the sheet in the Excel file you need to read. Just enter the exact name here, and it will understand which sheet to read. If you have multiple sheets and don't specify, it will read from the first sheet. Stored means to save it as a variable. The variable will store it for you. And you can use mapping similar to the HTTP node I mentioned earlier. Now I'll do it again, reading from A1 to C5. Remember, when reading an array, you must check first row as key. So it has keys like profile name status for the array. Here, I'll preview it again. When reading as an array, it must have this to understand the attributes of the cells. Now, suppose I read from A1 to C5, I get four sub-elements. These include profile name and address. To get data from these sub-elements, I map them similarly to the HTTP node. First, identify the index. For example, profile name 01. So, the index starts from 0, 0, 1, 2, 3. To get the third one, the index is 2. I add a dot. Then, like HTTP, I copy the attribute, address, and paste it here. Then it will get the address of the third sub-element. Here, although the index is 2, it's the third sub-element in the array, and I will save it to a variable. 
I'll save it to a variable s. Okay, then I run it. It retrieves the address from the third sub-element. Similarly, you can get other sub-elements by mapping here. And add more variables if you need to get more data. That's for reading an array. Now, I'll explain why I guide the spreadsheet node along with set variable. When you don't read data as an array, but read it line by line. I'll remove the spreadsheet. Or leave it because it's not mapping the array. Here, you read data from cell A2 with a value of 001. How to read A3 after reading A2. I will store the data from A3 to run in an automation process. Now, I'll use the set variable node. The logic is to set a value for the variable. Or add, subtract, multiply, it includes the left side the variable. of the variable. I will use a variable, for example, an index variable. The operator is the formula, you can set it to add, subtract, multiply, divide as Now needed. I set it to add, add a value. The value can be a number or a variable. Now I'll set the value to a number, 1. The index variable currently has a value of 0. Oh, it's empty. Sorry, it's empty. I'll set it to 1 first. Then I will set it to 1. After reading A2, how to read A3. I won't fix the range to A2 anymore. I'll remove 2. I'll insert the index variable here. Now it's A index. When it runs to this spreadsheet, the index variable holds the value. It will set that value next to A and read that range. Now review it here, it will read. Because my index is 1, it understands. That cell is A1. Now I'll remove the index variable. It won't read. Because the cell is A0, and there's no A0 in Excel. Now I'll set it to 1. After reading A1, it reads A2. It retrieves the profile name value from A1. You will use set variable. After retrieving the profile name value, you can set up a process. You can add logic to use the profile name value. After using that value, to read the next cell, add the set variable node at the end. At the end, after processing the retrieved value, to read A2, add one to the index variable so that when it loops back to the spreadsheet node, it will read A2. Now you'll need to use the loop, either loop or loop v2. The loop will have a separate guide. Now, I'll link the loop to these nodes. I'll set a delay for observation. I'll set a 2 second delay for each loop. And set it to run from 1 to 5. 1 to 5 means it will loop 5 times. Now I'll run it. And I don't need to see the data much. I'll run the loop for you to see. There. When the index is 2, the value is name. 
when it's 3, the value is 0. When it's 5, when it's the value is the value when the variable increases by 1, the cell shifts down one row. It reads and stores the data in the variable here. That's the two nodes, set variable and spreadsheet. You can use these nodes together to read each row or cell in the Excel file. Okay. The next node I'll show you is insert data. This node is used to record your notes after it you will run write tasks. to the output part of that task. To use this node, the table is in the top the right table. corner of the edit screen. Click here. You can customize the columns of the table. This table is the output table, showing the outputs of the task. To use it, I'll add the account column first. I'll add the status column as success. Suppose I have a script that sends messages to customers. After sending successfully, I'll link the success output to it the will record data success in the output. For failures, I'll link to another insert data node and record failure. I'll show you a previous example. Next to the log, which records the nodes run in the script. The output section is the table you added. It includes the columns you set up, status, and account. Here, I demo status and account. In practice, you can add more columns. For example, a phone number column. When it reads a phone number, besides using that variable to run, it will record the phone number in a column here. After having the phone number, it will continue. Run according to the process you set for sending messages. After sending, it will record the status. Then it here. will move to the next phone number and record the status. That's the logic of the insert data node. It will record the task outputs. Running in edit mode won't record. In edit mode, there's no output. That's the insert data node. 